Alright, type T. Let's see. Let's see if it works this time. Nope, it's saying low battery. Maybe. Maybe. I hate to get started and then it not work. Oh well. Yep, now it said no battery. What is going on? Well, it looks like it's still going to record. So it should show if it's low battery, it should show. No battery if I got it plugged up. Alright, well, we're going to go then. Alright, here we go. I got a collaboration again with Ryan Singrassi right there. We're going to use Liquitex Basics Cobalt Blue U, Liquitex Basics Dioxetine Purple, Artisloft Brilliant Magenta, and Artisloft Metallic Orange. Okay? Amsterdam Titanium White on a 12 by 12 canvas. Okay? What? Now Ryan, he's an awesome artist. You need to go check him out on YouTube. I'll link I'll link him down in the car and the the deal. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about down below the video. Okay, let's I'm thinking I rain for these colors. I'm scared of them. So we are going to layer. I want purple in the bottom, I do believe. And I'm thinking, stay. Thinking I want some more, so I'm going to mix up some more. Okay. I think I'm going to mix up flow troll in it this time. I'm going to put it right here so you can see. This one. Stick. Stick. Alright, zero. Purple, dioxetine purple. Alright, 30. 30 grams, come on. 30 grams. So we need 90 grams of flow troll. Flow troll. So that would be 120 altogether. Alright, we're going to mix this up. than what I normally want. Yeah, but that's too thick. That's too thick. So we're going to have to add some water. Alright. Water. I'm going to put 20 grams. black in the middle, but I think purple would be good. Uh, 
up, stand up. Thickness, it just goes right back down. That's what we're wet. That's what we're wet. So I put my flow trail up. Give me a drink. Make sure I'm still recording because, you know, hey. I did this once and I didn't like it. So I'm redoing it. Alright. I use these cups because I can bend it. Okay. Alright, we're going to do lots of purple in the bottom. I'm going to do about half of that. Okay. Alright. And then I'm going to go to orange. Okay. About half. Then blue. About half of that. And then magenta. About half of that. And then we're going to go back to this purple. About half of it. And then the orange. We're going to go with the rest of it. These some wild colors to be putting together. Ryan, I hope this turns out. If not, I hope yours turns out better than mine. <laughs> uh, oh well, had fun doing it anyway. Huh? Alright, that's the end of the orange. Then we want to do the blue. So, we'll scrape all the blue. I did an open cup last time and I didn't like... Now, I did a ring pour with the leftover paint. And of course, I did not video that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with a ring pour this time. <laughs> the rest of the magenta. You know what? I didn't put no light in there, did I? Hmm. Let's put some light in there. Not much. I don't want a whole lot of white. And then we're going to go with this purple. Okay. And then I'm going to put some of this purple on top. It's the same one except for one's got artist or it's got flow troll in it and the other one's got um my other pouring medium my wangers paint easy that stuff is the bomb all right let's make sure you're in there okay and i'm gonna add a little more water to that runny it I'm going to runny it down some. Okay. Yep. Alright. I'm going to pour that right in the middle. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to squeeze it, and 
I don't like it real full because then I can't you know what I mean We lost the per magenta and the blue. drizzled it all the way through there. Oh, that's for the birds, man. Alright, well I'm gonna fix it. Alright, we're going to a little purple white because I don't like that middle a little more purple I'm gonna put a little more magenta in there Because it looked like it disappeared, we got a little bit of blue. All right, let's. stuff out of the way. Get the stuff out of the way. Alright. Now, I watered this down so we're going to out there in my yard. I'm just getting it to the edge, guys. Or I'm trying to.
As long as this canvas is wet, it should flow right over. Because I'm going to spin it instead of tilting. When I do ring pulls, I like to spin them instead of tilt. Jewelry Cuts did that once, so that's what I did. Now we left the composition up to us what we wanted to do, because I didn't have a clue what with them colors I, I wanted to do. I had no clue. None whatsoever. So. I don't know what he's going to end up doing. Alright. That is there. Alright. Enough of that. Let's torch. Now you're going to have reactions. See this reaction here? Look like kettle pillars. That's because some of it I used Floatron, some of it I used the Wagner paint. So it's going to look different. I like that I put that white magenta in there. Alright guys, you ready? You're ready! It's not a very good spinner, is it? Oops. I want to get my center back down to the center. I'm almost there. That's pretty cool. <gasps> I like that. It almost looks like gold. The metallic in there. Look, it looks like planets back in here. That's pretty cool. I'm putting some paint on my corner here. So it will flow over. Sure, all my corners are done. That one's good. That one's good. I like it, guys. No silicone, guys. None. I don't like the cleanup of silicone, so I just don't use it. Don't understand it. So. I got paint all over my new shirt. I should have known. I went on my belly. But it's all good. That's pretty cool, guys. I really like it. I wonder how much paint is underneath it. some paint. It's not too bad, is it? I don't want to lose that blue. That's pretty blue. Magenta. 
Alright, there you go, Ron. I hope I did you proud. <laughs> Liquitex Basics, Dioxetine Purple, and Cobalt Blue U. Okay, Artist Lost Brilliant Magenta, and Artist Lost Metallic Orange. And Amsterdam's Titanium White, which I've got one streak of white. But I am glad that I put some more of that magenta in there. You can see it in some of the little cells here, but most of it's purple and orange. I'll show you the one I did before. I wasn't, I'm not real happy with it. I didn't like it. That was one of the open cut pores. So it's pretty cool, but it's not what I wanted. So I redid it. I like this one better. It's dark, but I like it better. And then I did the ring pour with the leftover colors. Look at this, guys. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. And this one's all dry. It's, it turned out really cool. I'm hoping the orange will light up in there. But see what I did here? I did... Uh, I thought I, was, I did white in between each color, but I don't think I did. I don't even see no white in there, guys. I might not have used any white. But anyway, I like this one better. I do, I do, I do. Don't forget to scrape your edges so your composition don't go off in the floor. You want to do this. I'm thinking I'm going to scrape these drippings this my table here and use that as a background. That's pretty. Alright. Ryan, good luck. I hope yours turns out. Mine turned out pretty cool, I think. Tell me what to think in your comments. And don't forget to go over and check out Ryan's on his Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, his YouTube. Alright, I love you guys. God bless. And I'll see you on the flip side.